Hey folks, welcome back to our coverage of the Gamma Trade Show in Reno 2018. And I'm here with Patrick from Quick Simple Fun Games. How you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty what good. What have you brought to show us? Well, I brought a game that's going to be coming out in April called Distill. Okay. And it's a two to four player game. It's based on the Mondrian art style, which if you don't know that, is all these little squares. Mm -hmm. And they're different colors and people make different patterns from them. Okay. So how the game plays is that you'll have one more card than the number of players. So obviously okay. if we're playing with two players, there would be three here. You're going to pick one, and when you play it down on the board, you have to cross either or cover two to four squares. Now, how the scoring works is whoever has the largest of their color, mm -hmm. and let's say you're blue, so right now you'd be winning with the largest, you'll get a bonus score from okay. that. But you also get one point for every area. So there's one giant area, five is worth one, and then you'd have two. Right now, yellow would have three. So if I was yellow, let's say I would do that. Mm -hmm. So I'd have now four points. Gotcha. Now we do have a little score track. Some people like to use it, some people don't, so that they can very easily see, see where other where, people yeah. are. That makes a lot of sense. Because obviously if you're playing with you know four or five people, then it gets a little more hectic. Now, each of us would choose one of these cards from the row, then we would repopulate with two, and the first player marker would pass. Now, depending on the number of players, we'll adjust the deck size so okay. that the more players there are, usually the less turns you have, but everybody will get to play somewhere between eight, you know, or five to eight turns, right. depending on how many people are playing. And what's the game length? How long? Uh, it's usually like 10, 15 minutes. Nice. So, so quick, simple games that are uh, challenging, right? Right. And... The entire rules reference is on this two-sided card, that's, that's so it's really easy. Uh, we do have a set of rules, though. Um, but one thing we're asking people to do is to take a photo of their art when it's done yeah. and post it online with a hashtag to still. Nice. So that way yeah. everybody can create their own piece of Mondrian-style art. art. Yeah, that's good. Great. So when can we expect this? This is going to be coming out in later April. So it'll be time for all the big conventions then? Yes, it will. Great. All right, Patrick, so what else do you have upcoming that you can share? Well, later this month, we're going to release the expansion for Veggie Garden, which was actually in the Dice Tower Kickstarter. Right. And basically, that'll add some more vegetables and more replayability for the game. All right, folks, stay tuned for more coverage from the Gamma Trade Show.